Okay, let's play the theme from Campfire. Because streaming services are evil corporations that gatekeep bands from their fans and pay them pennies while collecting millions. This is Campfire. <laughs> okay, this week on Campfire, we are featuring the Finnish death metal gods, Demolik. The site is demolik.bandcamp.com. Demolik is a Finnish death metal band which formed in the early 1990s and consists of frontmen Antti Bowman, guitarist Aki Haitonen, bassist Viel Kostinen, and drummer Miko Verns. Their debut album is Computer. No. Their debut album, Nespeeth. 1993 features intricate death metal riffs with unusually low guttural vocals in the vocal fry register. Let us drop in the vocal fry terminology now. The album contains long, complicated song titles and unconventional lyrics, which were written in code in the booklet. Demolite played what was believed to be their last show on July 22nd, 2006. But they have performed many shows since then, including appearances at the Jalo Metalli Metal Music Festival and Maryland Death Fest. I bought the CD with money that I got for selling a copy of Pink Floyd The Wall. This gives me all, makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So we'll start with, well, the focus on the Bandcamp site is their sprawling compilation. It's basically their complete discography called 20, 20th Adversary of Emptiness. But it includes their 1993 masterpiece, Nesmith. So we'll tackle that first. More angles than a geometry textbook, more twists than a corkscrew. Finland's Demlik were a fringe on a fringe. A sound so unique, so pioneering, it was bound to become a hit on the interweb. Even their tree root logo was in a class by itself. But unlike many other cases where the pencil arm weirdos are just raving to hear the clicking of their own keyboards, this time this obscurity was absolutely warranted in getting the praise it deserved. A horrific shade of extreme death metal executed with jazz-like deafness and fantastically jagged edges sticking out in every direction. Even the most diehard suffocation fans would have scratched their heads over this obtuse little nugget had it been widely available back in the day. Epic song titles like the 16th Six Tooth Son of 144 Regional Dimensions, still unnamed, would seem to indicate this is an album like no other. Evidently, guitarist vocalist Anti Bowman tried to cram all the lyrics into the titles for the attention challenge. The density of his irregular guitar mathematics is astounding, particularly when sent when set against the equally calculus inclined percussion of Miko Vines. His computer. <clears throat> Not computer. The band would be fascinating as an instrumental band, but subsonic croaks of Bowman make the listening all the more treacherous, like exploring some new sonic caves deep in the earth that twist and turn and run in sloping circles. Every song is packed with dizzying performances, but the bass breakout towards the end of The Cry deserves special mention as all the distorted guitar falls away, then rises in an impossible din of atonal harmony. Some of the songs just break out of ugly cocoons when you least expect it, like Raped and Bombed Beauty Sleep. That's the one we're going to play for in a minute. That filthy, The filthy guitar emerges at the midpoint, disgustingly intense. My copy is a remaster, or uh, you could just download their stuff from the band's site for free if you're a poser. Um, so this includes more goodies like the four instinctive tales of decomposition, demo stuff with sparse, skippy, thrashy drums falling behind the guitar muck. Overwhelming as it is, I can't stop listening to that, to that two independent organism stuff. What is the guitar doing in that song? As you probably already know, this was the band's only full-length album, and apart from some demo box set stuff, they chose not to release any formal follow-up, despite the huge interest from freaks like me. I'm glad they didn't destroy their reputation with acres of lackluster follow-ups and lineup changes. I know we're rambling, but suffice to say, Demolik is at the height of technical death metal, pure and simple. So here is the song I promised, Raped and Bombed Beauty Sleep.
Okay, we're back to Demlik. Now we're going to talk about the rest of the box set. Um, disc two offers offerings are extensive, consisting of mostly pre Nespeth demos and a handful of extras. The audio of the 2006 Demlik 2.0 Vanishing Sessions came through a little tidier and more evenly mixed than the classic stuff. But there's no skimping on the band's legendary technical arrangements, atonal guitars erupting, lock in and out of harmony, drums bucking like wild horses during the thundering stops and starts of the faces right below the skin of the earth, while vanishing of emptiness side shifts from a doomy crawl to a cyclonic mid-pace, riffs and furious drumming buzzing and evaporating in each ear, Anti Bowman's growls of disgust at a molested planet floating over the din. The demo stuff from The Four Instructive Tales of Decomposition features a few cuts that didn't make it into Nespeth. Drummer Miko Vine's drum sound is so stripped down you can almost feel the dust rising as he rips through the speeding rolls of two independent organisms, one suppating deformity. His computer. Not computer. The guitars are a little further back in the mix, and it is harder to hear the chromatic complexities against the drums and the uncontrollable regret of the rotting flesh. But one can still marvel at the murky, bleak mood the band was able to create, even at this early stage. Bowman vocals, rumbles were already unreal. There's no denying the quality of the material, but I didn't really find anything in the demo stuff that eclipsed the might of the Nespeth records. I'm still deciding which version of The Echo and The Cry is my favorite, but suffice to say, this stuff is legendary for a reason, and it's all available from the band's Bandcamp site. Um, so get over there now and check it out. What better way to spend a Saturday afternoon than exposing your neighbors to two hours of croaking technical death metal? They never had it so good. So let's play a song. This is When the Sun Drank the Weight of the Water. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. <laughs> 